I've got this copper top complete. It turned out okay. This is what I call a bronze patina. It's more kind of even, doesn't show a lot of green or blue or black colors. And it's going to go on this table base over here. So it's a bit on the long side. This is eight and a half feet long. And there's an alternate method for constructing these aprons. I've done this method before in my videos where I do the stop dado mortis and tenon. And I just made this out of three quarter inch pine like I do all the other table bases. But for this long apron, I doubled it up. I added this internal member after assembly and just kind of mitered it there and tied it in to that triangle cleat. And that's another way to add strength and it actually is easier to work with three quarter inch material as opposed to you know a large heavy long piece. However it is more expensive. If I used a two by four for this, two by fours are roughly the same cost as three quarter inch pine. So doing it this way is twice as expensive in terms of material. But in terms of material handling, it's actually easier. Maybe I'll flip this table base over. It might be easier to see. So I add, I add these scrap wood cleats on the edge here, and that's to accept the top. And that's just a different way of doing it. I could actually just pocket screw the apron. Uh, but I always have plenty of scrap wood, and I just glue and staple that on. And that gives me a little bit of material to screw into. So I don't have to pre-drill any holes. So I wanted to show in this video my sawhorse design. Nobody's commented on my sawhorses yet, but it's actually a really good design and very useful here in the shop. These are two of my sawhorses that I joined together with this piece of plywood here. And I call this my shop horse. And they're heavy, clunky, and designed to take an enormous load, which is what I use them for. Right now they're supporting this workbench, which is actually quite heavy. It probably weighs a couple hundred pounds. But it can actually take a much, much higher load th than that, which I'll demonstrate in a little bit. But I just wanted to show these how I built them. They're actually very, very simple. I used two by sixes for the legs and then three quarter inch plywood for the main part that joins everything together. And I just pocket screwed the two by sixes through the plywood and then into the adjacent piece on the other side. And I used these number 10 heavy duty pocket screws. So they go through all three pieces and interlock at each of those screws and I, I screwed it on both sides as well. And then these holes are actually just there to make them easier to carry so I have a little bit of a handle here. So these are my sawhorses that I keep in the shop. I also use the plastic sawhorses when I got to travel with them or I need something you know temporary and quick. But these are very useful to have in the shop because when you need to stack a big heavy load, a stack of lumber, a stack of plywood, uh, you can put an almost unlimited amount of weight on top of these sawhorses. And if you need a workbench on the go, they are very, very sturdy for making a workbench. And I'm actually going to make some more of these because 
I do need two pairs, and one of my pairs got transformed into this workbench, which is more or less a permanent fixture here. So I do want to make another pair, but that will be a video for another day. I'm going to make them pretty much the same way. But if you want to make them, I can just give you the information that you need. I got this laser angle level. Never actually used this before. So that's reading almost 90. And that's 77 degrees, 70. Okay, so these flay out at about a 12 degree angle. And I can do some plans or make a drawing for them, but I just wanted to give that a little bit of information. This is one of those tools that I found when I was cleaning. I had bought this and didn't even know I had it. And then I was like thinking that I needed to get one for a long time, but I already had it in the shop, which is kind of funny. So that's my sawhorse design. So let me go show you what these sawhorses or shop horses can do. That's a lot of weight on here right now. I've got 40 sheets of the poplar plywood. And then four sheets of Advantec and five sheets of quarter inch Luan. So that's a lot of plywood there. That's a lot of weight. And I can only get away with this when the ground is frozen at <laughs> this time of year because usually the ground is too soft to take the load capacity that you see right here. And I have to make sure I have a level spot. But the uh, driver was uh, anxious putting it down here. He wasn't sure that uh, could hold the weight. But I gave him the thumbs up and put it down and there it is. So that's going to make unloading easier because I got to take this pile here. I'm going to stack it up against the wall right here, and it'll be a lot less bending over to do that. And I could actually do this myself. I just pull it off the top of the top here, and then these doors are actually. I think 12 feet tall. <laughs> so All right. Well, that's all I got today, folks. I will keep you posted as I actually get this job started. <laughs> Still working out the details of the uh, final design. Um, bye.